Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where we are going to be diving straight into the Bitcoin chart together, going over the current new all time high on the Bitcoin chart. What a morning. I hope that you're all feeling very good and ready to go through some technical analysis. So in this video, we are going to be concentrating on Bitcoin. That's the star of the show once again today. And we're going to be going through the current resistances and really important support levels that one would want to see hold up during the next, you know, we're talking about 24, 48 hours going into Monday. Wow, it's going to be a big day. I'm expecting big things tonight with the CME open. It should be really exciting. We're going to see a lot of volatility in general markets and that should bring it across to Bitcoin as well. So, I mean, it's going to be it's going to be a really, really, really good week ahead. Um, so I hope that you are looking forward to this as much as I am. And without further said or do, ladies and gentlemen, Let's get into the charts. So, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into the pullback that's happening right now on the Bitcoin chart, I'd just like to educate you for five minutes about the retracement that we saw last night and how this is now giving us our new impulse to the upside. I'm going to be explaining to you why we saw that move down, and why we saw such a bullish move out of it. So I hope that you really enjoy that. And uh, yeah, before we get into this price action right here, let's just really quickly cover this move down yesterday. So as you'll know from yesterday's video, I must admit, I really do like this, by the way. But you will know from yesterday's video, if you watched it, I was closing my longs and entering a short. Well, I was already in the short at the time of the video. And I just love it because the comments when I enter shorts are always the same. They're always, why are you shorting in a bull market? You're going to get wrecked. You don't know what you're doing. Never short Bitcoin. La, 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 la. Well, the thing is, but that short ended in profits. So that, that kind of negates the facts. But, you know, what? why did we have this move to the downside? Well, guess what? In, in Bitcoin, especially, there's a lot of over leveraged traders, people trading with insane amount of leverage. Never a really good idea. People that get really greedy, they refuse to take profits and they're going to trail their stop losses up thinking this is a better idea. Or alternatively, uh, you know, just people that aren't, aren't really prepared for any sort of big moves. Uh, and you have to remember, it was the weekend. The weekend you get these sort of big swings. You know, there's a lot less liquidity in the market. You know, the market makers can push price around with a lot less money, a lot less capital is required. So the weekend is like a prime time for these big swings. So you have to be prepared for that. And what did we see yesterday? Well, we saw a move up to around $57,700 and then a over a 6%, over 6% pullback to the downside to bottom out at around 54, just over $54,000. That's a big swing there. So why did we got this move down? Well, I, I, you know, a combination of greed, hitting areas of, you know, target, you know, that was our big green target box. You know, it's a pretty big resistance level. Obviously, we are pretty much through it now, but nevertheless, you know, you've got to expect like there's resistance at these those zones. And we come into that resistance. We did in the end get a 6% pullback. We're starting to see an increase in price now. So uh, why, why are we bouncing here? Where is the support? Well, how many times have we seen this one, ladies and gentlemen? CC. Now, let me delete this and I'll just draw it for you. So we're going to take out our Fibonacci retracement. We're going to put it at the bottom of the last swing low. And we're going to move it up to the last swing high. Okay, so we're taking our Fib retracement from low to high. That gives you your CC Fibonacci. And as you can see here, price makes its way back up and then it retraces down to this CC Fibonacci level. This is, this is a really great level to be aware of because time and time and time again, it offers these really great trades. When you remember the confluence, because here I actually see three, four different factors of confluence. You have the CC level itself. You have the order block here. And then you also have taking the lows. So that's three levels of confluence. And if you were around last night at, at around 11, 11 p.m., you will know that market pulled back all at the same time. So you saw the altcoins dropping really heavily. You saw Bitcoin dropping really heavily. So what is this? This is the fourth level of confluence, and that is the factor of emotions. That is the factor that many people are scared. Many people are not going to long the dip because they are very much petrified that the thing is going to drop down even further. So how do you get rid of that fear? How, how, how do you not be in the position of having a stop loss, getting stopped out and instantly reversing to the upside? I'm sure that happened to a lot of people. How do you get in the, the, the situation of just not being liquidated? Well, it's already simply by having a plan, getting ready for these sort of moves and then just acting on it, not getting scared when it drops, not getting greedy when it rises like this, you know? Pretty simple stuff, really. But this is what happened to me yesterday. This, this was around... Uh, 11 p.m. I was posting. Well, that was a nice surprise. Obviously, for me, it's the weekend. I'm not really heavily trading the weekend, but I, I left some limit orders waiting down at the lows. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, that, that was a nice surprise for myself. Um... Because I managed to get those limit orders literally filled while I wasn't at my computer, which for me was a was a surprise because uh, this is almost like a gift. I, I to be honest, I was not really expecting <laughs> me to get my lower orders filled. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is what happens when you can uh, have your limit orders waiting. That was, as you can see here, filled to av average average here, basically the very low. Fifty-four thousand one hundred and thirty-three dollars was filled last night. Uh, obviously, it's only a small position size. Don't get me wrong, but nevertheless, it's still given me nine thousand seven hundred dollars profit in what twelve hours. It's not 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 too bad. But nevertheless, how did I manage to do this? Well, it's by, was by having a plan, pre-setting orders. I, had, I knew where I was right on the trade. I knew I was wrong on the trade. Honestly, this was a total gift, but nevertheless, I'm not going to complain about the gift that was given. Uh, but you can see here why having that bit of patience, not FOMO buying up at a high, and we're talking about a swing trade. I'm happy to hold this for a bit of a swing, to be honest with you. Um, you know, so this is not referring to day trading in this video. This is not referring to scalp trading. This is referring to swing trading. That sometimes if you have that patience and you get a gift given to you like this, well, <laughs> it's just really, really, really nice, I suppose. But you can see here getting filled at the, at the lows. And that was it with confluence of the CC running the absolute low here, which you can actually see was basically uh, la, 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 la. I'm trying to give you the really big level there. Fifty four thousand and sixty two dollars. So you had like this nice confluence region, essentially. And well, we can see basically now we've we've made our way back up. We have now ran the all time highs. So we have made a new all time high today on Bitcoin. And now we're entering a bit of consolidation. And what I will show you about this one, ladies and gentlemen, it's pretty brilliant. See, I got that entry that is a average of 54,133. Look at this as well. How many other people got this? <laughs> this is the one I wanted to make you aware of. Anyway, Doltex, 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 Doltex. Look at that. $54,135. Legend closed that at 58000 Obviously, mine was only a small trade, but nevertheless, also getting in at 54,133. So the legend himself, Doltex, we've talked about him a lot, <laughs> and myself, uh, getting, getting our entries within $2 of each other at the low. Again, mine's only a small trade. I can't really brag about it too much, but nevertheless, <laughs> pretty funny that me and Doltex <laughs> had our entries both within $2 of each other at, at basically the very low of the move. So that's another confluence that you had actually. Confluence number five, Doltex was also buying and this guy just keeps on buying these at lows. <laughs> so yeah, basically that's, that's why we had our move up yesterday. So what I want you to take away from that before we go over what's happening, takeaways, uh, summary of, the, of that. Remember to take profits. Don't, go, don't be the guy that gets ultra greedy up at the highs. Um, don't be the guy that laughs at somebody for taking shorts because, you know, the market is, you know, this is what we say, the market's never going to go vertically. The market just doesn't do this. What the market does is it goes up, pulls back, up, pulls back, up, pulls back, up. And obviously the majority of people aren't comfortable trading these small pullbacks, which is fair enough. But, <clears throat> you know, I just don't think you should laugh at somebody that is comfortable trading those small backs, pull, small pullbacks, because otherwise, you know, karma's going to get you and, and you're going to get stopped out <laughs> where I'm able to rebuy back into longs. So anyway, uh, yeah, that, that brings us up to where we are now then. So where are we right now? We, we are at all time highs. Let's zoom into the chart a little bit and zoom into the chart. So we're up basically up at all time highs right now. Um, so always you have two options in trade. Is this a good long? Mm, well, it's kind of the thing. Your good longs are on the pullback. So is, is this a good, good long buying up at the all time high? In my opinion, no, it's not really a good time to, to enter a, a long when you're literally at all time highs. Uh, because, you know, you've got to wait for those areas of value. It's, it's that simple case of having patience. And I always feel like, is it ever a good time to literally buy the very high of a, of a move? And, and my answer is always going to be no, even though I could be expecting this to push higher. And ultimately, I am. You know, overall, I'm still bullish on Bitcoin. Um, I, I really am. I am expecting higher prices. But it's like, I just cannot... I just cannot buy up at the highs like this. I just, I just, I just can't. Unless it's for a sculpture, you know, don't get me wrong. I'd, I'd be happy to sculpt this down on like the one minute chart. That's fine. But if I, we're talking about in this video, more of a swing trader's perspective, you know, I, I couldn't hold myself to buy up here for, for a swing trade. So that means you got to wait for a retracement. Does that retracement happen? Mm, maybe not because you had your retracement last night. But nevertheless, you got to wait for one because otherwise this is just really just really bad place to buy. And I prefer to miss the move than enter a bad trade, to be totally honest with you. Also, well, where are your areas of, of value? Where are your areas of retracement? Well, you could simply look again for the CC for the, from the low to the high. That's coming in at around $55,500. And you might think to yourself, oh, this is never going to happen. We're never going to get that retracement. Um, you know, I've missed the move. 
you know, you could get really depressed. Some people do that. They get really depressed. And then when price retraces to here, maybe it takes a day, maybe it takes two days. But when price, price retraces to that, they miss the move. And they're like, oh, you know, just if I had a plan and I stuck to my plan. So, you know, you've got to be aware of those areas of values. Is it going to retrace to there? Well, nobody knows at the, at the moment, you know, with 100% guarantees. We could say that, that nevertheless, it's a good area of value. Things that I'm aware of right now, CME. The CME is going to open tonight. That's a good factor. Be aware where the gap is on the CME chart. Uh, you know, just the simple fact that we've broken the highs here and it's not really had massive follow through could be potentially, you know, primed for a bit of a pullback. Again, this could just be a pullback before continuation to the upside. But you've got to be aware of that. Um, so, yeah, the follow through here has been very has been poor. Let's be totally honest with you. So that that could give you a, a heavier pullback. Um you know, so you've got your 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 lack of follow through upon taking the highs. You've just got the simple fact that I I question like who buys up at these prices. Uh, you got the you got the fact that you do have areas of value down below you where people can you know essentially you know I actually haven't by the way just so you're aware I haven't actually taken profits. But you know here you got people taking profits and then guess what when it retraces back down the people that take, took profits here can add it on back lower, and you know the trend could, could continue. So you have a few factors here I believe of why. I just don't feel you have a really good trade at the moment. I, I personally wouldn't enter a um, a long here. I don't really feel comfortable shorting up at, at the exact all-time high like this. So it's just like, you know, the reason why I was comfortable shorting yesterday and I don't feel comfortable shorting today is because yesterday I had, you know, I had that Fibonacci box of confluence because I don't have that confluence here. So it's kind of the case of, you know, if Bitcoin pulls back here and does drop, I would have to enter my shorts from lower because I don't have the confluence needed to enter a trade. That for me is a really important factor. You know, when you have a set of rules, when you have something to stick to, you know, a strategy, you know, it really protects you from taking these poor trades and, and really does keep you sticking to the high probability, you know, what I want to class as, as good trades. Um, so in that regards, personally, I wouldn't short here, even though it could end in a nice short, maybe, you know, maybe you get a really nice pullback. I just couldn't, I couldn't take this short here today because I don't have that confluence, simply. I also couldn't long here because I, I refuse to swing long at an all-time high like this. Um, so what does that leave me? Well, it leaves me in the option number three is I'm going to either have to wait for a pullback to look for a long. And this is the, what I'd be monitoring. I'd be monitoring how is the pullback? So what's the volume like on the pullback? Um, what's the delta like on the pullback? You know, these are the statistics that you're, you're judging um, to say to yourself, OK, is this a pullback that I want to long? Or is this actually a sign of weakness where I will look too short? Obviously, because I have to short from a lower level here, I don't have a rule that would let me short here. So I'd either have to wait for a pullback and sign a weakness to short or a healthy pullback where you can be looking at your open interest, your volume to basically buy the dip. So that's the sort of things that I am going to be looking at. Um, well, actually, it's Sunday. I'm probably not going to be looking at it too much, if I'm totally honest with you. Uh, but, you know, give me give me Monday and then I'm going to be more interested in, in trading again. This this entry for me was like just like a gift. It really, really was just a gift. Um, but yeah, that, that, that's what I wanted to bring your attention to today. Uh, I suppose a few things that are really important. Taking profits, really important. Um, you know, being ready for the pullback. Yesterday, that was a pullback during massive fear in the market. Massive fear in the market gave a really good opportunity. Well, then what do you have to be aware of right now on the Bitcoin chart? Well, personally, even though it might end in a nice pullback, I personally wouldn't short here. And I'm comfortable with that. I'm, I'm comfortable with, you know, give, essentially giving back some of my profits because I'm in, in a minute long. But I'd give back some of my profits for what I feel is a better trade, be that closing the long and going into a short. But at the moment, I'm pretty comfortable to stay in it. Um, and why it actually requires that level of patience. So our, our key, I mean, 60,000, obviously, that $60,000 is, <laughs> it's a big, yeah, it's your big psychological level above you. You do have bigger targets in terms of fibs above that, but, you know, 60,000, big psychological level. You then have 55,500 as, as a you know, pretty nice support in terms of technical reasons. Okay, also, if we look at this in terms of, where's this support coming in? Yeah, so we can say, what's this coming in at 55,000? 56,000, yeah, so that's 56,000-ish region. I, I I would say that's pretty nice support. You've got a nice, you've got a nice high volume node in here. Um, you know, you have your CC around there. I'd say that's a pretty nice area of confluence for an intraday trade. That's more of an in intraday trade, don't get me wrong, but one would expect to bounce there on an intraday level, you know, for a scalp trade. So, you know, there's opportunities to be had in this market and sometimes you just got to be patient to wait for those opportunities. And I suppose this is like a, well, actually, I've got two really prime examples for you. First prime example is, Obviously, this is the competition that we're running. And this this trade made me 181% profits. One trade. One trade I've taken in the last two weeks. And that was a swing trade from 40... 
3,910. We now see it at $57,000. And again, that, that, if you look at these filled orders, that order was filled, that one order filled times 10 leverage on this account. Again, it's just a, just a small competition account. But nevertheless, one trade, nearly 200% account increase in a few weeks off of one trade and having patience for that drop. And then it's knowing not to take profits early on this and let the, let the trade one run. You get a really nice trade. You know, you've got to have that patience, but you have to have the patience to wait for that trade to fit in the first place, you know. And um, before we end here, there's something that I'd just like to remind you of. And that is that uh, tonight we do have a Champions live stream. And I'd like to be transparent and show you the trade that I gave last week. So every week I'm going to, you know, in the live stream, I will go through uh, basically, you know, a few different scenarios. I'll get. I'll go through the chart. I'll go through what could we could expect for a bullish scenario, what we could go through for a bearish scenario, and then what I feel is the most likely of the two. So I will give a bullish and a bearish case, but I'll go, you know, I'll give you a, a, a basically a setup at the end with an entry, a stop loss, and a take profit of what I feel is the most probable of the two. And yet last week, I felt a long was the most probable because I was looking for higher prices and I was looking down for a really good area of value. Okay, which is about down at the around the MPOC. All I want to do with be transparent is that this, you know, this this long did not fill because we didn't get a heavy enough retracement. I was obviously looking at around forty three thousand. In the in the end, we only hit around forty five thousand. So I missed the entry by two thousand dollars, but I had the right idea overall. And you know, sometimes it's like I'm saying, when the setups that I'm giving here, these are going to be trades that will literally make you. You know, if, if you are able to be patient enough for one trade and then that one trade, for example, is making you thousands of dollars profit or in this example, not so much profit, but, a, you know, you can be patient enough to wait for that one really good entry that then you're able to hold that entry for a few weeks that, you know, I just really hope that and I, I love that this is happening on the competition account because you can see it's real. There's no, you know, this is just pure real and one trade that's able to make you 200% profits. You can see the value of finding those setups. And, you know, this is like your golden ticket trade. You know, you get that entry and then that 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 trade's making you, you know, the way that I'll trade this on my main account, several hundred thousands of dollars profit. Then you can see why I'm a patient trader because I know, yeah, maybe I missed that one last week. Maybe I missed one again this week, but then when I get my trade, maybe it maybe it happens to maybe it happens tonight. Maybe it happens next week. But I know that when I get that one trade where I've been patient enough and I've got that really nice setup, I know that's the one trade that's going to make my year. To be totally honest with you, so I'm I'm happy to wait for these. Be patient. Um, and so there, that was last week's setup. And uh, if you're interested in this, this is a new thing uh, that I'm going to be going through again tonight. So tonight, uh, in around eight hours time, <laughs> I'll be going through a new Champions live stream where I will go through the charts, delete everything off my charts. So what I do is I literally come over to the chart, delete everything. And then from here, I'll go through a bullish scenario, bear scenario, and, and really what I feel is the most likely of the two then for a swing trade, go through the entry to stop loss and to take profit off of that. So if that's of interest to you, obviously that's what we offer at chartchampions.com. Uh, here you can see that that patience really does pay off in a big, big, big way. Not just on the swing trade. Again, this was two weeks ago and we literally longed the exact, exact, exact low, by the way. You could not have got a better entry than me in the competition. <laughs> not to brag, but you nobody could have got a better entry. in terms of Obviously, in terms of percentage, people have got higher percentage, but they've, they've been trading scalp trades, I suppose, or higher leverage. My leverage was low. Ends in a good trade. And here's another example. Another example, real live money. You know, you get those areas of value and, you know, you're pretty sorted, aren't you? You really, really are. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk you through in today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed it. You've enjoyed my perspective, passing on what I feel is the most probable and areas of support and resistance. So a summary, really nice move down that we had yesterday. Hopefully we liquidated a lot of greedy traders. That would make my day. We then see our reaction off of that. People really fearful. Well, that's the time to be looking for longs. We made our way up. We take the highs. This, obviously, in my opinion, has been a bit of a weak break of the high. So we could potentially see a larger pullback. But I'm still, until proven otherwise, going to look too, too long the next dip. Um, 
unless unless of course that pullback does start to look really bearish in which case i will have to close my longs and enter a shorts you know i'm comfortable shorting this market <laughs> i'm very much comfortable shorting this market it's just that right now i don't have anything that fits under my rules to enter a short so what i would have to see is some sort of strong pullback bearish looking pullback and you know i'd, I'd really simply just have to short lower so i'm, I'm not going to be able to have a short from up here but you know maybe in a few hours that changes but yeah i hope that i've uh give you some insights prepared you and uh you know hopefully you're learning from these videos you know these <laughs> wow i just had like three different alerts for three different coins pop up at the same time manage that in about a minute and i'm back to end the video all i've got to say is thank you ever so much everybody i really hope you've learned and enjoyed this video and again if you want to see a little bit more in tonight's members live stream you can uh, look forward to that over at chartchampions.com. For everybody else, hope that you've enjoyed the video. And uh, yeah, I just hope you're smashing this, crushing the charts and, and making some nice money here. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant day and goodbye. Cheers.